Whether you're a professional artist or an amateur dabbling in the craft for fun, the drawing tablet is a great way to practice and perfect your skill on an entirely new platform. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 5 best drawing tablets that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we'd also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 5, we have Wacom One. The Wacom One offers many of the features that the company is known for at a much more affordable price point. It's not a super cheap tablet by any means, but it's budget-friendly enough to be justifiable for beginner and intermediate artists. The 13.3 inches display means the One doesn't take up much space on your desk, but you'll also find yourself scrolling around more often on larger drawing projects. Despite being at the lower end of the Wacom range, the screen itself is top quality, with a matte finish and just the right level of friction to make you believe you're sketching on real paper. At 8.86 by 14.05 by 0.57 inches with capacity weight of 4.23 ounces, makes the tablet easy to travel around with at least and it's particularly good for students and others who need to regularly take notes and make annotations. It's also easier to use than some high-end drawing tablets. It's simpler, intuitive controls make it easy to get started, but it has enough features to satisfy the needs of more experienced users as well. The only thing it's lacking in this regard is the shortcut buttons you'll find on higher spec models. Underscoring its beginner-friendly nature, the Wacom One includes free trials for several popular design applications. The tablet comes with a two-month trial to Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, a six-month trial to Adobe Fresco, and a three-month trial to Clip Studio Paint Pro. If you don't yet have subscriptions to these applications, these free trials offer a good opportunity to test out several at once. Other than the smaller screen size, the only other downside worth mentioning is the cable setup. A proprietary 4-in-1 X-shaped cable that includes USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, and power. That's a lot to manage, and as with laptop users in particular, may need a USB-C hub to be able to plug everything in. Despite its limitations, however, the One does many things well for not a lot of money, at least by Wacom standards. If you're just starting out on your digital illustration journey, and especially if you do a lot of note-taking and document annotation, it's the ideal choice. At number 4, we have Microsoft Surface Pro 8. The Microsoft Surface range of tablets was looking a little stale, but fortunately, the tech giant has given it a facelift with the Surface Pro 8 to competing with the top of the line, the iPads. It's certainly priced to match, costing around the same as the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, which means Microsoft has had to work hard to make the Surface Pro 8 a viable alternative. The starting model packs some serious computing power with a 3.0 GHz of Intel Core i7-1185G7 processor, with 8GB of RAM and a 128GB SSD, and there's the option to customize it further with even more powerful parts, though be aware that this will drive the price up further still. The 11.3 by 8.2 by 0.37 inches in size and weight at 1.96 pounds. With the 13-inch QHD touchscreen display at 2880 by 1920 pixel resolution and the option to bump the refresh rate up to 120 hertz. This makes it highly responsive when used with the Surface Pen stylus, though be aware you'll need to purchase this separately. Having Windows 11 is also a major boon for this tablet, as it means you can use the full desktop version of programs like Photoshop rather than messing about with tablet apps. If you're already in the Windows ecosystem, then this tablet definitely makes sense as a purchase. The Surface Pro 8 also comes with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which can be used to transfer lots of files quickly at compatible external hard drives, and can also power up to two 4K displays at 60Hz or one 8K monitor at 30Hz. Battery life has also been greatly improved thanks to a combination of the Surface Pro 8's new design and more efficient hardware. Microsoft promises up to 16 hours, which will get you through a workday. At the end, the Surface Pro 8 is an excellent tablet that comes with Windows 11. Digital creatives will love the power on offer here in a tablet form factor, but you'll need to spend extra for a stylus. Overall, if you want a capable tablet but don't want to switch to iOS or Android, then the Surface Pro 8 is a great choice. At number 3, we have XP Pen Artist Pro. The XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro is a great option for those who want a drawing tablet with a screen, but don't want to splurge on an expensive like the Wacom Cintiq 22. Coming next on our list. XP Pen is an up-and-coming tablet maker that offers impressive features at a fraction of the price of more established brands. The Artist 15.6 Pro is one of its mid-tier options, with a 15.6-inches display and battery-free stylus. 
The display on the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro is one of its best selling points. As with more expensive brands, the screen is fully laminated, which helps reduce the parallax effect and provides an experience more similar to a pen and paper feel. That 15.6 inches size provides a useful amount of drawing real estate without taking up your entire desk. The included pen is highly sensitive with 8,192 pressure levels, the same as the more expensive Wacom model and 60 degrees of tilt. This model is fairly customizable with eight programmable keys along the left-hand side of the tablet. These can be customized to match shortcuts in your favorite design software. The red dial lets you zoom in and out of your work, so you can quickly fine-tune details or get an overall view as needed. The tablet is compatible with most popular art applications including Photoshop, Illustrator, Clip Studio, and more. Its cross-platform compatibility makes it one of the best drawing tablets for PC and Mac alike, particularly for the money. Overall, it's a quality, well-rounded device that will suit many graphic artists, especially those who don't have four figures to spend on a drawing tablet. The main downside is a lack of flexibility about your viewing angle, the included stand isn't adjustable, and there are no VESA mounting holes for attaching to a monitor arm either. Next up at number 2, we have the Apple iPad Pro. Want a drawing tablet that you can also watch Netflix and check Instagram on, then the Apple iPad Pro is your best bet. Any iPad Pro model will work, but the latest model, 5th generation, is the best option if you can get past the price tag. The iPad Pro includes everything that Apple is known for, intuitive design, a wide variety of apps and uses, powerful processing, a high-end camera, and yes, expensive accessories that aren't included. For the iPad Pro to be a drawing tablet, you'll need to shell out for the Apple Pencil 2 as well. If you can stomach the price, the iPad Pro is an excellent and versatile option. The current model come with 11.04 by 8.46 by 0.25 inches in size and weigh at 3.15 pounds and also put the powerful M1 chip, the same one you'll find inside Mac computers, which makes it blazingly fast for pretty much any task you can think of. The inclusion of the M1 chip is important when it comes to using the iPad Pro as a drawing tablet. Unlike the other tablets we've mentioned, you can run design apps like Photoshop and Illustrator directly on the iPad rather than on your computer. These apps require a lot of processing power to run smoothly. The latest iPad Pro handles them like a champ. This also means that the iPad Pro is a great option for drawing on the go, as it doesn't need to be plugged into a computer to use. The other big selling point of using an iPad as a drawing tablet is the stunning display. Apple always makes a big deal of its screen technology, but in this case, it's justified. The Liquid Retina XDR display on the latest model uses 10,000 mini-LED to provide both intense highlights and subtle details, and quite simply, it looks incredible. We wouldn't recommend buying an iPad Pro solely for its drawing capabilities, since similarly priced models from Wacom tend to provide a better experience. The glossy glass screen on the iPad is comparatively small and provides little tactile feedback. While adding a matte screen protector helps, it dulls the colors for every other use. Overall, for anyone looking for a powerful general-purpose tablet and a drawing tablet in one, however, it's very much the best choice. That's especially true if you want to be able to pull out a single portable device and start drawing wherever and whenever the creative urge the hits. The last product on our list is the Wacom Cintiq 22, the best overall drawing tablets available on the 2022 market. Wacom manufactures a complete line of drawing tablets, ranging from budget models to professional-grade equipment. The Wacom Cintiq 22 is an excellent mid-range choice, offering impressive features at a reasonable price. The Cintiq 22 features a large 21.5 inches screen with vibrant colors and a 1920 by 1080 anti-glare full HD display. This gives you plenty of space to work with, but of course it comes at the cost of a good chunk of your desk space. It has a built-in stand that can be adjusted, allowing you to customize the screen angle to find a comfortable position. This tablet has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, along with a low activation force. In plain English, this means that the Cintiq 22 recognizes even the lightest pen strokes and intelligently responds to your movements and the amount of pressure you're applying. Included with the tablet is the Wacom Pro Pen 2, a stylus designed to feel like a regular art pen. It charges automatically while it's in use, so you never have to worry about a dead battery. The pen has a comfortable rubber grip and programmable buttons that can be customized to match shortcuts on your favorite design software. When plugged into a computer via the included HDMI and USB cables, you can use the Wacom Cintiq 22 with dozens of popular design and art applications. This includes the Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator and Coral Suites, ArtRage, Clip Studio Paint, and many more. 
There are only a couple of downsides of the Cintiq 22. Firstly, that Full HD screen resolution isn't particularly impressive given the price point of the tablet and the size of the display. Secondly, the use of HDMI and USB cables isn't ideal if you're planning to use the tablet with a recent laptop that doesn't have either or both of those ports. You can get around the latter issue by using a USB-C hub, but if you're happy to spend more, the higher-end Wacom Cintiq Pro 24 solves both problems at once thanks to its 4K display and use of a single USB-C cable for all of its connectivity needs.